Welcome back for another video. Today's video is a complete walkthrough on how to play Fantasy Premier League. The video is timestamped throughout, so if there's a particular section you'd like to jump to, then feel free to hop around. This channel is packed with useful videos to guide you through each season, and it's all completely free, so hit subscribe so you don't miss out. So what is FPL? FPL is a game that casts you in the role of a fantasy manager of Premier League players. You pick your own squad of 15 players who score points for your team based on their performance in matches. Points gained for things like goals, assists and clean sheets, and points lost for things like yellow cards, red cards and missed penalties. If you've not signed up on the site yet, pause the video and do that first. Once signed up, you'll be asked to select your team, and you'll notice all players have got their scores from last season by them, or if you sign up once the season's already started, then it'll show their points total for the season so far. You have 15 players to pick and a budget of 100 mil. You don't have to spend all your budget, but it's generally a good idea. As you'd imagine, the better the player, the more they cost. You'll notice that you have slots for two goalkeepers, five defenders, five midfielders and three forwards. You're also limited to selecting a maximum of three players per football club. Player prices will move up and down in 0.1 mil increments based on their transfers during the season. For example, a player in red hot form will be heavily transferred in by other managers, which subsequently causes their price to rise. You can sell your players for profit. For every 0.2 mil that a player rises, you can sell them for 0.1 mil profit. For example, if you own a 6 mil defender and he rises to 6.2 mil, you can sell him for 6.1 mil. Each game maker you're entitled to one free transfer, which you can use to replace a player of your choosing, as long as it's within the budget. If you don't need to spend a free transfer, you can roll it over to the next week, giving you two to spend. You are only allowed two bank transfers maximum, which is important to bear in mind. You can make more transfers than you have available, however for each transfer over your allowance you will be deducted four points from your total score. This is typically not worth it, but there are examples of when this can be worth it, which we will touch on. On the FPL site and app, there is a fixtures tab which displays all the matches for the upcoming game weeks. The fixture difficulty rating tab is useful for spotting a team with a good run of fixtures ahead. Each game week there is a deadline to finalise your team, which is always 1.5 hours before the first match of the game week. Make sure you've made your transfers, picked your starting team and bench and your captain before then. When you pick your team each game week, you must select a captain and vice captain. Your captain scores you double points. Picking the right captain is therefore vitally important. If your captain does not play, then your vice captain gets the double points instead. It's also important to put your bench in the right order. You'll notice that they're numbered 1, 2 and 3. If any of your starting 11 don't play, then the first player on your bench replaces them, and so on. There are a multitude of formations you can play. For example, you could play a 5-4-1, 4-4-2, 3-5-2. Every season the best source of points can vary, and there isn't one particular best formation. Knowing which players to buy can be tricky. There is a series on this channel that focuses on which players have the top predicted points each game week, which is a very valuable metric. FPL also has some built-in metrics such as points per match, form and the ICT index, which has influenced creativity and threat. Another important aspect of the game is the chips. There are four chips in total, the wildcard, bench boost, free hit and triple captain. You get a wildcard for each half of the season, and the other three chips you only get one of. The wildcard is the most powerful chip as it allows you to change your entire team completely for free. The bench boost allows you to score all the points on your bench for one game week. Free hits similar to the wildcard in that you can make unlimited transfers, however once the game week is over your team reverts back to how it was the week before. The triple captain gives you triple points from your captain rather than double as the name suggests. We won't go too deeply into the chip strategy but there are generally best times to use them. As a high level overview the wildcard's best used when your team's in very poor shape which you can't fix with a transfer hit or two. During the season teams will play in other cup competitions besides the Premier League and as they advance further in these cups it can sometimes cause a fixture clash which causes the Premier League fixture to be postponed. This creates what's called a blank game week in FPL for that team and their opponent which gets rescheduled to another game week causing a double game week. Therefore the blank and double game weeks are an important aspect of the game too and typically don't come until the second half of the season. It's often sensible to save your wildcard until the double game weeks roll around as you can imagine a team that plays twice has potential to score huge points for you. Regarding the rest of the chips and ideal usage, the bench boost is typically best used directly in the double game weeks. These come much later in the season and you'll know all about them if you're following this channel. The triple captain is also best used in the double game week as you get two rolls of the dice for your player to score you triple points. Players have scored as high as 32 and 31 points in double game weeks which emphasises its potential. The free hit chip has utility in both blanks and double game weeks. If there's a blank game week with only a few matches on, you don't want to butcher your team for one week just to fill the team. Alternatively, a free hit does also let you maximise your potential in a double game week, as you could field 11 players who play twice for up to 22 fixtures. If you're only playing very casually, you don't need to put too much stock into doubles and blanks, but it can be the difference between beating your mates in the mini league. 
FPL also has a bonus point system, or BPS, whereby the three best performing players in each match will receive additional bonus points. Three points are awarded to the best performer, two to second best and one to third. If you tap a player's points, each game week you'll get a full breakdown of their score and if you're lucky they'll have picked up some bonus points too. If you'd like to set a mini league up, this is done on the Leagues and Cups tab. Alternatively, you can join a public league too. There's classic leagues which are just highest points wins and there's head to head where you're facing your opponent each week and whoever scores the highest wins. I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, please drop it a like and subscribe for more FPL content this season.